Hello everyone and welcome to day seven, the final day of our series of Rust in seven days. Today we are going to be using Rocket, a web framework in order to build our a web facing bank application. It's going to be a pretty simple one and there will be some things that you will want to fix if you want to take it any further, but it will at least work. Now Rocket's a pretty useful framework. It currently still requires, however, nightly Rust. Now Rust runs on this update system where it has a new version of Rust released every single night. Now this obviously, because it's happening every night, there are going to be problems and, and bugs and stuff with it or things that are unexpected. So in general, you probably want to use the stable release, but there is also a beta release which kind of happens in between and the stable releases happen every six weeks. But if you want to use the nightly channel and you have to if you want to use Rocket, at least for now, you have to, uh, you can go Rust up install nightly and I already have it installed but it will at least update it to the latest obviously installing a compiler isn't super fast so it's going to have to re-download everything when that is complete you can run any program I've just started a new one here cargo plus nightly run and this will run it using the nightly compiler just like that and that's the program as it stands rocket requires that you are uh, have the latest update of nightly i mean it will keep running mostly but every so often if it doesn't work for some reason update your compiler by typing rust up update nightly and that will bring everything back up to date again we'll open up our cargo.toml file and we are going to import we're going to use rocket and this one is 0.3.17 and we also need rocket code gen which is 0.3.17 as well. There are a couple of slightly tricky things we have to include to make our code work. The first is we need to enable some features, uh, particularly the rocket code gen. So we need hash, exclamation mark, and then it's feature, and we need a plugin. And the other feature we're gonna need is proc macro hygiene. And these two features, the first enables us to use plugins, which is, again, it's the features are part of Rust as it's developing. We have to opt into newer features, but eventually the plan is for these features to become part of normal Rust. But by making them opt in, they won't break any compatibility problems while people are still testing them out. And macro hygiene just enables you to keep macros in their right places and use them with... Um, scopes appropriately instead of as they used to be which is just if you've enabled the macro that's in everything so and the plugin we need is rocket code gen which is of course the the library that we've used from our cargo toml we're going to need to use rocket response content html and that's a capital h lowercase everything else these wrappers write the http responses in rocket so we just use the HTML when it says, I am a HTML file and fills the data inside it. So here we're now going to make our function that will respond to get. So it's a, it's a handler for a request. And we'll just make this work on the very base of it. And we can write our function name, which we'll call index. And this doesn't need to take any parameters, but it will need to return a HTML string object or whatever object we choose. But I'm going to go with string. And then we can return HTML of, and we'll make some HTML type strings, so world and to string that. And in our main, we need to launch the server, so that's rocket ignite, and then and then dot mount. And here we can mount the roots in different places. I'm just going to again put it in the base, and we're going to add the function to our roots. Again, this is a macro, and the roots we're going to include is index which is the function name and um, the final thing we'll need to do is actually launch our rocket and then we'll cargo run and this can take a while to download everything i've already tried that so now that is launched and it is currently serving over localhost 8000 so if you go to localhost 8000 you should see a Hello World website. Now, what if you want to return a named file? So if I make a directory for site, 
and then we'll tab edit site. We use we we'll do other .html, and in here we'll put some HTML file as well. I'm I'm going to be very lazy about it and not worry too much. But what if we want to access some static files maybe and serve those instead? Well, we can do that using rocket response named file. And we can kind of bring the path in from these parameters here. So we'll make this a get again. Obviously, post is another option here. And we can actually make this path slightly longer. So I'm going to add an S here for static. And then we'll put path dot dot like so. And so that means we can actually read the path into our function. And we'll do that using function and we'll call it static file. And the static file we're going to reference, well, the path we need, a path buff, which we'll need to import. And we're also going to need to use standard IO. So now that we have our path in here, we're actually going to return an IO res result, which is a lot like a normal result, except that it's going to be an IO error as its error type. So we don't need to put that. And that's a named file. And in here, we're going to create our own path. So let pb equal path buff from, and we'll just add that to we'll put site as our folder. And then we're going to push the other part onto that. So this needs to be mutable. So pb.push, and we'll borrow path to push on. And now we just need a named file. So we're going to open one with pb. And actually, this returns an IO result directly, so we can just pass that back as is. And if someone tries to get a file that doesn't make sense out of there, we should get the appropriate response. The, um, the path getter mechanism also protects us from people trying to use the dot dots to climb up a directory or two. So we need to end this to roots as well. So we'll add that here, static file. We'll cancel this and run it. And so if we go in here and we go to s other.html, we find our other page.